in like Christian rooms just talking to Christians with no. I thought you didn't make videos anymore because I used to watch your videos all the time. I thought they were pretty good. And then none of your videos popped up on my feed for like two years. And then I went and looked at your, and then one popped up and I went and looked at your channel. It's like, you're still making videos. I thought if you had still been making them, you would be like really big. So I don't understand why your videos get so few views. Um, do you, ha do you know what the explanation is? Like, why would YouTube not be recommending your videos to me when I was like watching them consistently? And then they all of a sudden stopped recon like, uh, putting them on my, wa my watch page or whatever, you know? I would not really know why YouTube does whatever it's doing. I have no idea. I mean, I, I was down for a while because my my website from last year actually it disappeared. <laughs> you know, the there was something with the the host and I don't know what they did. I I reached out to customer service to ask what happened to my webpage, but I never really got a straight answer from them. So it it just disappeared but luckily i had a way to back it up so i'm right now actually just within a few days of completing you know i'll, I'll have pretty much it'll be it'll be almost the same as before but i'm adding a lot of new new things because even though i was down for quite a while i was still making notes so in a way it'll be better but I'm almost, I almost have that completed. But as far as why YouTube would not give you a feed or whatever, I, I don't know. Maybe you could just ask YouTube. I don't, I have no idea. I really, I have no idea what's going on with YouTube. Okay, I pinned your link at the top if anybody wants to check out his YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, so I was, one, you know, one of the favorite videos on my channel is actually... Darth Dawkins meets Darth Dawkins debunked because you have been making videos about him for like almost a year that time you guys encountered each other on Smoky Saints stream remember oh yeah I definitely uh, remember that I thought that was a really interesting dynamic that's a that's a funny video so how did you feel during that first encounter well actually that wasn't the first encounter um uh, verbally Verbally, yes, but we had had an, an encounter before that where I was in Jungle Dragon's live stream. It was a text, uh, you know, I wasn't in the live feed, but I was in the text area. And that's where I was actually sending messages in the text area about Darth Dawkins. And, well, to make a long story short, what happened was he suggested to Jungle Dragon that I uh, should be kicked out of the room. And another very interesting thing about did that. Did he know is that who once, you were, though? At that point, did he know who you were? At that point, he knew who I was because I had my name right there. It was Darth Dawkins Devant. So he knew who I was at that point. Um, but um, what had happened was when I replayed, because Jargo Jargon posted that onto his channel afterwards. And when I looked at it, I noticed. Uh, it's very interesting that there's some missing information here. So what somebody had did, I'm not going to say who, maybe it was Jungle Jargon, maybe it was someone else. They had edited out the messages that I typed into the text area. They edited out some of them. But what they, I guess, didn't realize is that I had my screen recorder running, so I have all those messages. So anyway, but that, that's what happened. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you're, have you talked to him since then, since the Smoky Saint thing? Uh, I think maybe just once or twice where he actually has tried to come into the room. I think on the occasions that I've seen him, I was already in the room twice. I think I was just listening and I was, I was in there well ahead of him. I think one time I was in there like almost an hour before he got there. So I was just listening, and it was obvious that when he, he came into the room, it was obvious that he saw me, and that was his intention, was to single me out. Because the first thing he did when he came in, he said, well, I see we've got a special guest here. Can you tell me 
how do you debunk me? You know, so that, that was his intention, was to come into the room and try to engage with me. Now, what's interesting about that is that this all happened after he had already said that I'm obsessed with him. So it's just kind of... It's just kind of interesting, I think, that he would want to talk with someone that's obsessed with him, so-called obsessed with him. But, um, you know, he makes a lot of claims. He's the one, remember now, he's the one that said he's been online for 10 years or 12 years, you know, depending on which version you're listening to, because it goes back and forth from 10 to 12, you know. So, but anyway, I'm obsessed with him, and I've only been online a little over three years compared to him, where he says that he's on the Discord or whatever, you know, whatever it is, every day. That's according to him. He's there every day. But I'm obsessed with him. But he's not yeah, obsessed. He's, a, he's obsessed with atheists. He's atheist. not obsessed with talking to atheists. Okay. <laughs> All right. No, he, uh, I, I don't know if you knew, but I knew him way back. Uh, it was more than 10 years ago on Pal Talk. And he... Uh, we like followed him from Pal Talk to Google Hangouts and then Discord came along. But um, I was actually kind of friendly with him when I first met him. But did you know he used to be an evidentialist and he used to say that the Pal or the preceptors on Pal Talk were stupid. And it was only when he was getting his ass kicked by atheists all the time that he became a preceptor. <laughs> That whole shit, but uh, it was oh, another thing I like about you is you're actually a Christian, right? But you just expose crazy Christians. Um, you're asking me. Yeah, you're a Christian, right? No, I don't. I don't say that. That's one thing that I don't do, actually, and I, I'll, I'll explain the reason why. But um, yes, I knew. Going back to what you just said, I knew that you were on Pal Talk. And I think you were also in Google Hangouts because I've seen some of the videos from, I think it's Darwin's Greatest Hits. And there's some, you know, a couple other channels. They've got those videos going back to Google Hangouts. So I knew that, but I didn't know, I wasn't aware that he was an evidentialist. I, I've heard him say a few times that he was a Catholic and he became a Christian at about 19 years old. And I think what's interesting about that is that whenever he... He's, he's infamous for whenever he speaks with a teenager, he is very consistent when he brings out, you know, the fact that teenagers don't think rationally. They're not at an age where, uh, where their brain is developed quite enough. But remember, he became a Christian at 19. So, you know, take that for whatever, however you want. But anyway, um, yeah, I... Uh, I um, had been on uh, Discord for quite a while, and I still am, but I'm not very active. I don't go into it very, you know, just really very seldom right now. But um, then I'm on Clubhouse right now, and so, um, but um, yeah, it's he. he <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, it's, it's just amusing. It's very, it's very comical to listen to some of the things that he says, some of his claims. Yeah, it's uh, it's really entertaining. I'm I like I'm laughing at every video of him almost. But I really hope. Yeah, you get. Sorry, what were you gonna say, Shadow? Uh, I got a question, but you can go ahead. No, I, I was just gonna say I really hope you get your website back running up with the Darth Dawkins quiz. So what he had was, it was this amazing Darth Dawkins quiz where you would say, he would ask something like, is Darth, what is Darth's position on this? And then there was like multiple choice answers. And no matter what you chose, it would say, no, you are wrong, you are wrong. And then it would uh, link a video that would like be showing him uh, saying that that wasn't the case and stuff and then if you chose the other answer which was him saying it was the case then it would vi show a video of him saying it is the case it was really funny um yeah now the, just just to let you know now the website that i was talking about that i'm almost finished that's not the quiz the quiz is already it's our it's i've never had a problem it's it's up and running it has been so the website i'm talking about is the the other one where i actually had um his worldview it was it was um uh you know basically an expose of his worldview so that's what i'm almost ready to have completed
That was oh, the well, I, I went to the quiz year. one today, and it, it only had yeah. the first question. Did you see? Are they, like, uh, yeah. No, I didn't see, but uh, I'll check that out. Maybe there's a, maybe, you know, I've been on it lately. Maybe I hit something in the settings, but thanks for letting me know. I'll, I'll check that out. Uh, what were you going to ask, Shutter? Oh, sure, thanks. Um, I was curious what, if there was, like, one interaction that you, um, that you, like, uh, witnessed of Dar's that made you want to like start the website or, you know, start your, your handle or whatever, or if it was like a series of interactions that, uh, that kind of led you to want to kind of start the website, you know, the handle and whatnot. Yeah, it was a series of different videos that I listened to where I noticed, you know, some of the inconsistencies. And then that's what, that's what really prompted me to start, you know, taking notes and, which eventually led up to the website and the quiz and the YouTube channel. Oh, sorry, I was looking at something. Um, so what do you think about Darth's psychology? Like, does he ever feel like, Does he? do you think he ever feels humiliated? Well, as far as his psychology, I don't think he is very transparent. And the reason why I say that is because he had made a comment in one of his atheist helplines or whatever. He was talking with his so-called friends, and they were talking about something that I had sent Darth. And Darth told the other people that, well, I'm not even going to look at it. You know, I'm not even going to bother look at it. But he did look at it. And he's also said that he's not going to read my emails. But what's funny about that is that I have sent him emails in Google and I have an extension in my Google, you know, my Gmail, which is it's an extension that actually shows me whether or not somebody opens up the email that I send. I can tell if it's opened up and I can also tell how many times someone opened it up. And when I sent him those emails, I can see where he's actually there was one one of them he had opened up over 80 times the first day. <laughs> <laughs> so again, he he's totally like, you know, don't trust him. That's the bottom line. That's the best advice I could give to anyone as far as his psychology or his his psychological processes. Nah, that's a no go. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, you know, what's one of the most ridiculous things he does is he'll, like, mute anybody who, who's any kind of threat, who can put up, like, make any kind of argument. Uh, and, like, all these, have all these people banned. And then he'll be, like, on the mic and nobody's talking because, uh, he's got them all muted. And he'll be like, where are all the big bad atheists? They're afraid of me and stuff like that. It's just, it's just absolutely ridiculous. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I learned a long time ago, you know, and I convinced myself, don't even try to get into a room where either he has a moder either he is a moderator or he has mod powers or he is allies with someone because obviously it's it, you're you know the, the track record speaks for itself. You can see what happens when people actually try to have. Uh, what he would call a grown-up dialogue. I mean, he, he is also infamous for claiming that he doesn't mute people if they disagree with him, but there are multiple videos. I mean, video after video after video where basically that's what it comes down to. He mutes them because they don't agree with him. Um, have you checked into any, like, the calling somebody a narcissist, like, it's thrown around a lot on the internet, but if you actually look up, Darth Dawkins is actually a true narcissist. If you look up, like, the, um, the 10 criteria and, like, the DSM for what, it, what makes you a narcissist, he meets, like, all 10 of them. Yeah, I've seen something like that. There was a video that I saw that it started talking about narcissism, you know, in a general sense, it was talking about what are the traits of a narcissist. And you're right. Yeah. It, 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 everything that the video brought out, it seems to match his, you know, his psychology. So yeah. Those I, videos I sound agree. like they're actually talking about him, even though they're speaking about narcissists generally. It, exactly. Yes. <laughs> it's really funny. Hi, Max. 
Hey, what's up? Oh, have you ever seen Darth Dawkins' debunked channel? Yeah, I actually got it recommended to me uh, today, so I subscribed to it. But... Um, oh, I appreciate that. He's gonna get a... What would be interesting to see is a uh, scoreboard or like, uh, you know, like a friends of Darth Dawkins like list of them just like disappearing and you know reappearing over time, kind of like uh, I guess one active because uh, it's a it's a big list you know of people he who counted his allies you know latest with uh, with with Foxy. Yeah. So what he does is he he'll go into all these various places and get like mod powers, and then he'll just make increasing demands on the people who are giving him the power until he has a falling out with them and then he has to go somewhere else like he'll go from discord server to discord server you know it seems to magically coincide with with like him getting like less traffic in there too or like (laughs) traffic that's just kind of more overtly trolly or just wise to his act Uh, but DD debunked. If you, what I did with Max recently is we sh- have you. I don't know if you've ever made a YouTube community post, but we shared one of each other's videos in a community post. And I actually looked at the alg- the uh, statistics, Max, and it got me a. It got me like twenty views or something. You doing that? Uh, so if you ever want to, DD, I'll share one of your videos in my YouTube community post. So you share, pick one out of mine. I don't care which one. And share one of mine to help each other's channels. Because I don't understand why your channel's not bigger. Well, honestly, I I am not trying. I mean, it's not really my objective to get a big channel or to get a lot of views. You know, like I said, que sera, sera. However many views I get or whatever, I'm not really concerned about that because my objective is just to basically get the word out about this guy who he's coming across as someone that's got this complete philosophical package. It's true, ultimately true, according to what he's saying. Um, his his version of Christianity, I don't not all. Oh, let me before I go any further. It is not my objective to expose the Christian worldview, so-called Christian worldview. My objective is to expose his worldview. Okay, so I'm not I'm not trying to expose the, what he would call the Christian worldview. And of course, we all know he's a fantastic Christian. But anyway, um, yeah. So I'm not concerned about. Uh, how many views I get? I just, you know, I, I do this as a hobby. I do it part time. If I get a thousand views or whatever, or you know, twenty views, whatever, I'm, I, that, that, that's fine. I'm not really too concerned. Oh, okay, that's cool. Uh, Steve Appel's raised his hand. Um, I forgot what I was about to say. Hi, Steve. Hi, Godless. I wanted to ask Didi a question, if it's okay. Sure. Sure. Hello, Steve. Uh, welcome. I'd be more than happy to see if I can answer your question. Thank you, DD. If I understood you correctly, you said your objective is to expose his Christian worldview. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. According to what he claims or his his statements, you know, that that's basically my objective. That is correct. And what I wanted to ask you was. Um, what, if any, of his worldview have you exposed? Thank you. Well, that's a good, very good question. And what I usually say to that is that he is actually doing the exposing himself. It's not so much me. I liken myself basically as a reporter. All I'm doing is just sharing the good word. But I actually... I make kind of an intentional effort, actually, to avoid interjecting my own worldview. I'm just showing what he's saying. So he doesn't need any help from anybody. He doesn't need any help from other people or his so-called friends or the people that he's debated. He doesn't need any help in exposing how comically ridiculous 
his worldview is. So if I understand correctly, when I ask you what of any of his worldview you have exposed is the correct answer, again, with all due respect, is the correct answer nothing? Uh, I don't really want to answer that question. I will stick to the to the way that I oh, have asked, no, no, that's, that's which is the way that I just answered you. I've I've been asked that by other people, and you know, like I said, I emphasize that I don't try to bring up my worldview, and I don't need to. Accord even according to him, it's not necessary for me to say anything about my own worldview. So that that's basically the way. You know, that's my approach. I think what he's saying, Steve, is he just does stuff like gathering clips where, that show Darth Dawkins contradicts himself and stuff. And so he he just uses those by putting them together. It's exposing him. But he doesn't have to put point out why he used his own words to point out why Darth Dawkins is wrong and stuff. I and 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 I and thank you. And I understand that it sounds like to me and I could be wrong that as a reporter, you're attempting to expose contradictions, which that I get. But what I heard you say and you agreed upon is that your objective is to expose his world view. And although obviously by gathering clips, you've exposed his contradictions, it doesn't sound like you've exposed any of his world view. Okay, Steve. Well, I'm, I'm very glad that that's your view on it. And here, the one thing I'd like to reply is that remember, please remember everybody, I'm not the one that's telling people that they need to agree with me. And then if they don't, I'm going to kick them out of the room. And then I'm going to turn around and say, I don't ban anyone or mute anybody because they disagree. That's not me. So I hope everyone in this room tonight has the freedom to express their views. And I'm certainly, I mean, it's going to take a lot before I mute someone or ban someone. I've never did it. So I'm proud to say I've never did that in a either any of my feeds or any of my AMAs. I've never did it. No, I get that. But what I heard you say, I paraphrased that you agreed with me, is that your objective is to expose his worldview. And when I specifically asked you, what is his worldview that you exposed? I, I hear crickets. That, that's all I'm saying. OK. And again, if, if that's how you interpret it, more power to you. Thank you. Uh, Dee Dee, do you think that Darth has taken your quiz before? I believe I have strong evidence that he was one of the first six people to take that quiz. And the reason why I say that is that just before, just within minutes of the time that I actually posted the quiz, I was in a chat room with him and I sent him a message. I gave him the link. So he had the link to that quiz. And at that time, which I still do, I have a tracker. And if anyone goes in the room, it tracks their IP address. It shows where they're at. And I know where what state he's in. And I looked on my tracker and it showed that state. He was one of the first people, one of the first six people. I, you know, I strongly, now I could, could I actually prove that? No, because it only shows the state. It doesn't show the actual physical address of the person, but it's just kind of a, a coincidence that within just a few minutes of me sending him the link, there was somebody that showed up with that state. I think it was him. Oh, well, that's pretty strong circumstantial evidence. It's not proof. Yeah, that's right. That's why I said I can't uh, prove it. That's correct. But one more thing I wanted to say is I don't even think he he he's religious at all. Like, can you imagine him praying or going to church? You know, he just like he wants to make people feel stupid on the Internet. And he thinks the best way to do that is by attacking atheists for some reason. Right. Well, what I think about that, um, I think he has 
made the ultimate lie. He has told the ultimate lie is what I would consider to be the ultimate lie, according to his worldview, because supposedly his worldview is the Bible. Now, I've heard him say different things about worldviews. I've heard him say that there's only one worldview, and yet I've heard him say, you know, atheism is a worldview, theism is a worldview, uh, the God or the creator creation distinction is a worldview. You know, I, there's four or five of them where he said, this is a worldview. This is a, then he turns around and he says, well, there's only one worldview. But anyway, the ultimate lie he told um, is that, and I have that on video, it's on, it's on my channel. Um, but anyway, uh, I'll, I'll tell you in a second. The Bible says, um, let God be true and every man a liar. So according to the Bible, every man is a liar. And he stated about maybe three months or four months ago, he said, I'm a theist who doesn't lie. And with that, basically, philosophically, he was calling his own God a liar. That was the ultimate lie as far as I'm concerned. So j just so I understand, thank you. The ultimate lie that he told was three months ago when he said, quote, I'm a theist and I never lie, close quote. That's the ultimate lie that he told? In my view, according to what, how I see his worldview, that would be the ultimate lie philosophically, yes, because he's claiming to be a Christian He's claiming that the Bible is his worldview, and he's claiming that the Bible is true and that God cannot lie. The Bible says every man is a liar, but he turned around and he said, I'm a theist who doesn't lie. So philosophically and metaphysically, he's calling his own God a liar. As far as I'm concerned, personally, that's the ultimate lie. Well... That makes no sense to me. I, I am totally confused, and I don't get it at all. And I mean, that, that would be like me saying, if I were to say right now, and you know what? I will say right now, I am an atheist, and I don't lie. Is that an ultimate lie? And by the way, if it's not then how does it differ any from him saying, quote, I'm a theist and I don't lie? Uh, you, you are taking, with all due respect, sir, a hell of a lot of liberties out of a very short sentence of what he said and extrapolating that into a whole bunch of other stuff. And quite frankly, again, with all due respect and godless in a clubhouse way, you know I love you. I, I don't buy what you're saying, D.D., at all. I don't think that's the ultimate lie, but that's just my opinion. And, Steve, that was beautiful. I love that, and I loved hearing it. Thank you for your input. And, D.D., and D.D., I, I, I didn't understand him. D.D., I love that you love what I said. Okay. Well, he's singing... <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank I'm you, Steve. That <laughs> if uh, Darth the Christian says he's not a liar, that's inconsistent with the Bible. He says it's true because the Bible says that all Christians are liars or something like that. But that wouldn't, if an atheist said that, it wouldn't be a problem because there's no book that says all atheists are liars. Oh, well, well, well wait a minute. Dee Dee didn't say that Darth said all Christians are liars. I didn't hear Dee Dee say that. That is correct. No, what he said was, I am a theist who doesn't lie. That's what he said. Exactly. That's my point. And so I don't understand why I, I don't get I still don't get it. Yeah, Dee Dee, I have a question. And can you hear me fine? Uh, this is my first time on Club Deck, so I don't know if my mic's going. Yeah, I can hear you fine. Yep. Okay, yeah. Um... You know, if you read something like uh, Romans 3.10, it says, no one, right, no one is righteous, not even one. Um, obviously, if you're a Christian and you believe in, like, 
the normal creeds, you're not going to read that literally, right? Um, you're not going to say that, oh, this literally means all humans are not righteous because they would also want to say, like, Jesus is fully human and he's righteous. Um, could it be possible? Like, like, have you ever gotten uh, Darth Dawkins to interpret the passage that you're referring to as saying all humans are liars and then him saying he's never lied? Or are you just going to the Bible verse and saying, okay, this is what I think it's saying. I'm going to take it literally. I'm not going to paraphrase it in that way um, to just say, like, most people are liars. Um, or is that something like Darth has already sort of argued in the past? Uh, well, that's a good question. So I would answer that by saying a couple things. Um, number one, Darth himself has said that he takes the Bible literally from Genesis to Revelation. Now, what's interesting about that, I think he's going to get into quite a lot of trouble if he reads Revelation and he interprets that literally. But anyway, um, uh, I, I'm trying to answer your question. Could you repeat that one more time? Now, the question you had about what did I think? Yeah, has he ever interpreted that passage as um, oh, the Bible, okay. like paraphrasing yes. the quantifier, is literally all? Okay. Or, okay, yeah. Got it. Okay. Okay, so how I'd like to answer that is is um, as far as how he interprets it or anyone interprets it, I think what's interesting about that, he was talking or he has talked about the meaning of words. And he has said that the meaning of words does not change over time. And he has also said the meaning of words does change over time. So whatever, if, you know, if anyone can make any sense of that, you know, that's fine. But, but that would be how I'd answer that. Yeah, if he says that, then he's got way bigger problems on hand than just um, this one contradiction where you think that the conclusion implies that God's a liar under his worldview. I, I don't think then, like, Darth has, like, a, like he may be, like, paraphrasing things. He may be saying things in a way that he, he doesn't literally mean what he says, or he just, you know, he's doing debate broke tactics, which is probably more likely. But um, I, I don't think he can make, like, a strict, like, statement because obviously he's not going to interpret romans three ten as saying jesus wasn't righteous right or maybe dd is just taking what he said out of context i've never heard darth say anything whatsoever about words change or words don't change but i'll tell you this i absolutely love being an atheist and defending darth dawkins it gives me the heebie-jeebies I do have a video on my channel that, that I, you know, I don't have the title, but after this hangout or whatever you'd like to call it, I will go back and post the link. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll do another video on my channel and hopefully I'll remember, but I will post the link to that video where he talked about words do change over time, but words do not change over time. And he was referring to every single word in the English language. Is that correct? Oh, no. I would have to let the, the reader or the listener interpret that. Ah, the way they so like he to. May, ah, so he may have been referring to certain words in certain contexts. Is that correct? Yeah, again, I will let the listener. Uh, yeah, exactly. And you know what? I agree with that. Certain um, Steve, words. You're interrupting oh, 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 me. Oh, Oh, I, I didn't. Uh, you know what? I'm sorry. I'll go on mute and wait for you to finish. Thank you. OK, it's always been from day one. It's been my hope and my desire that when people look at my website or my quiz, they are free to think and free to interpret. There's not a big daddy sitting on the, their shoulders telling them, you must agree with me or I will mute you or I will ban you. That's not my gig. If you want to listen to that, go to Darth because he's gone on record as doing that video after video after video. Yet he turns around and he claims that he doesn't mute people for disagreeing with him. He is probably, as far as I'm concerned, the most suppressive individual I've ever saw. Go ahead, Steve. 
thank you because I'm glad you said that after we were talking about that words do change their meaning over periods of time and words don't change their meanings over a period of times. How we went from that directly to kicking people off stage, I don't know. But I will give you an example. And once again, I love being the atheist on stage that is defending Darth Dawkins. But based on what you said, let's take the word queer. We know that queer today is used in medical scientific journals, which has to do with LGBTQ or whatever it is. And it has to do with scientific fact that over 10 over 10 percent of our population is bisexual, transsexual, gay, lesbian, whatever the case may be. Fifty years ago, the, the word queer meant that you were weird, you were out of place, you were from another planet. It wasn't used in a single treatise or journal. So clearly the word queer has changed its meaning. There's one word. Now, we can take another word where the meaning has not changed. And I won't even say the word. I will just say it's the N word. The N-word, as long as I have been alive, has been a negative, oppressive, racial, horrible word that where I, I will say it's never changed. If anything, it's gotten worse. So there is two examples of where one word can change its name and, or change its meaning. And the other word not only keeps the meaning, but further exacerbates the meaning. So when you say that Darth Dawkins says that on one tape you have words never change their meaning and then on another tape you have words change their meaning as i said a moment ago i wonder if it's recorded in its proper context thank you and thank you very much for that input steve yeah another word is the word gay because if you go back to when i was a kid that would mean somebody's happy so that's another one but i appreciate you know, I appreciate your point of view. Thank you, Steve. Hey, we can go today to the word fag. In America, fag means gay, homosexual. But if you go to Europe and say, hey, can you find me a fag? It means a cigarette. Yeah, so Didi, I have a question for you, right? You say uh, you're trying to create this uh, channel and this quiz, etc., etc., to you know, quote unquote, expose Darth Dawkins. Um, and you don't really want like a following or whatever. Um, what do you think that you can provide that, you know, Tom Rabbit can't provide, you know, Gigi can't provide all these other channels? Because um, obviously you're going to be to some extent like reposting maybe their content or, you know, maybe uh, recording his discord calls, which other people are recording. Um, and, and like, to me, it doesn't seem like Darth Dawkins has like a huge following. He may have like somewhere between maybe 50 to like 300 people who like really follow him. Um, and that just doesn't seem like a significant amount of people. And like the people who do record him, they're pretty like open to the fact that they're just looking for content. And I think that's like fair, you know, cause he's kind of an entertaining guy. Um, like, like, I, I guess, like, what are your motivations and what, what do you bring to the table that all these other people don't? Okay. You know, well, I, I think I haven't got my fucking t-shirt. I couldn't resist. Okay, Steve, thanks. <laughs> yeah, let's help Steve get his t-shirt. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, you're, you are right. I think, um, Godless and Tom Rabbit and there's, you know, there's a few others who, who do have, um, you know, they basically use a different approach from me, I think, because what they're basically doing is they're showing generally, I should say generally, um, like, for example, if they have a philosopher uh, speaking to Darth or an atheist or whatever the case may be, they're showing a comparison between person's A, worldview versus Darth. But that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm showing within Darth's own worldview, what he's saying. So that would be the basic difference between what they are doing versus myself. Yeah, but the only problem is you're not showing anything about his own worldview. You're just taping contradictions. 
And thank you, Steve. If that's how you take it, that's fine. I appreciate that. Uh, Dee Dee, do you have any, uh, I just want to know, I have trouble, like, sorting, uh, filing away my videos. Like, what method do you use when you're, like, categorizing them and stuff to keep track of all this stuff? That would be a question I really, and I have a reason for not answering that. And, you know, I'd rather decline on answering that. Sorry. Oh, okay. Can I know the re the uh, reason you don't want to say the reason or no? Yeah, I've developed maybe a kind of I guess you could call it a few a couple tricks on how to um, how to find certain things and you know how to quickly access certain information. So I've developed my own you know means of how to do that. And I guess I, I, I think it works fairly well. Not always, but usually it, it, it works fairly well. So I really wouldn't want to elaborate on how I do that. Oh, you because you don't want other people to have an easy time? <laughs> you, you want other people to have a hard time? Oh, no, no, it's not, it's not that at all. It's not that I'm desiring that anyone else have a hard time you know, with whatever they're doing. No, not at all. It's just that the idea that um, I'm I'm doing things which, I, you know, at this point in time, I don't want to say anything as to what I'm doing. You know, that, that's it. But it's not, it's not that I have a negative idea or a negative view or that I wish that other people have a difficult time. That, that's not it at all. It's, it's a secret. I guess I have another question, right? So you're saying that what you bring onto the table is um, you're trying to do an internal critique to, I guess, Darth's sort of opinions. Um, and I would agree with you uh, that a lot of people aren't doing that, especially in his re recent Discord debates, if they're talking about like a story or like empirical claims, right? But a worldview, that's just going to be a theory, right? So for a critique to be effective, you just have to produce a contradiction within his theory. So if we're talking about like a priori truths, um, why wouldn't like good debaters, I guess, be able to sufficiently critique Darth Dawkins because they're sort of just doing exactly what you're doing. Like, for instance, if like, you know, Jack brings up like the logical problem of evil or, um, you know, the problem of skeptical theism or something. That's like a worldview critique. Um. Well, what's kind of funny about that? You mentioned the word a priori. <laughs> and what's what I think is kind of humorous about that is that according to Darth Dawkins, a priori, it's it's he said that it's true by definition if it's a priori yet he has also said a priori is arbitrary it is vacuous and it's imaginary so again <laughs> i'm sorry i'm laughing so hard but you know figure it out if you want to if you want to figure that one out please enlighten me yeah i don't think either of those um are the definition of a priori but well, I guess technically under some definitions, the definition one can be okay, but. Uh, I'm gonna end the room to save the replay. The replay will be saved, DD, if you ever want to use it, but I'm going to dinner, so. Thank you yes, for coming. Thank you, yeah, I appreciate it. Thank Good you night, everybody.